Hi my dear kids, this time I am meeting you all with another famous children's novel Tom's Midnight Garden by Philippa Pierce. This is 16th lesson in your test book and the last lesson in first term. This video contains learning objectives about the author, summary of the story, a review of the main character, literary techniques, vocabulary, questions from the text, context questions from the text and a creative writing task. You will be able to learn about the main character in the story, identify the characteristics of the main character, summarize the story and understand a child's fantasy. Here is a brief description about the author Philippa Pierce. She is a British book editor and a children's writer. She was best known for her Carnegie Medal winning novel Tom's Midnight Garden. She also wrote numerous short stories and book reviews. She was born in Great Shelford. She was a children's editor at the Oxford University Press for three years. She worked for the BBC as a scriptwriter and a producer. She has been awarded the OBE, Order of the British Empire, for services to children's literature. Here are the characters. Tom is the main character in the story. We are not meeting Tom's aunt and uncle in the lesson, but he lives with them. Next character is the young housemaid. I have added some video clips into my presentation. You all will have a better understanding. And you can make your own imaginations while watching this presentation. Okay then, let's move to the summary. Tom was staying with his uncle and aunt who lived in a strange old house. One night, Tom decided to explore the house. Tom opened the door and went to the doorstep. Moonlight flooded in the house was as bright as daylight. He saw a great lawn where flower beds bloomed, a towering fir tree, a greenhouse with other plants. He was surprised because people in the house lied to him, saying it's not worth to be at the backyard. It was very pokey and filled with rubbish bins. Tom stepped forward imagining he would run full tilt over the grass, leap in the flower beds and peer through the glittering panes of the greenhouse. The scene tempted him, but he regretfully turned from the garden back indoors to read the grandfather clock. He recrossed the threshold thinking of what he had seen outside. At that time only he realized that he wasn't wearing one slipper. He looked at the clock but it wasn't showing the true time. Time must be either 12 or 1. His attention was distracted by the opening of a door down the hall. A maid trotted out. She was carrying paper, kindling wood and a box of matches. <clears throat> 
he had only a second to observe these things. As she came nearer, he saw that she was only a girl. To warn her about his presence without startling her, Tom gave a cough, but she did not hear it. The maid passed him, reached the front door and went in. She didn't pay any attention to Tom. Tom was left gaping. His one bare foot was on a flagstone and he was standing on a tiger skin rug. There were other rugs down the hall. The walls were decorated with a rich variety of other objects like a tall gothic barometer, a fan of peacock feathers, a huge engraving of a battle, pictures, a big dinner gong with a gong stick, a large umbrella stand with umbrellas and walking sticks, a parasol, an air gun and parts of a fishing rod. There was a series of shelves, on them glass cases of stuffed birds and animals like an owl clutched a mouse in its claws, a ferret and a red fox with a game fowl hanging from its jaws. The maid passed him again saying I have lit the fire in the parlor. Tom had a curious impression because the maid reached the door and went but not through the door she simply thinned out, and he caught the hole in the act of emptying itself of furniture, rugs and pictures. He stood dumbfounded, and he remembered the garden door was left open. He decided to shut it and go back to bed. He promised silently to the trees and the lawn that he would be back. Tom went to the bed and in the bed he pondered more calmly on what he had seen in the hall. He thought the hall was haunted and he saw a ghost of a housemaid and some ghost of other stuffs. He was dissatisfied with his own explanation because the garden was real. Tomorrow he would go into it. He fell asleep thinking of home. Come back. I will. Describing Tom. Tom is the main character of the story. He is in quarantine in Cambridge because his brother Peter has the measles. Tom is a gregarious boy who is bored and extremely lonely at his aunt and uncle's apartment. He is also fidget because he has literally nothing to do all day. He is delighted to find the playground because he has been so lonely. He is brave. He didn't get scared in the hole. He earned a great curiosity after being in the hole and meeting the housemaid. Literary techniques used by the author. There are many visual imageries. The writer used sensory words 
to create imaginations in readers' minds. And there are a few similes. Moonlight flooded in as bright as daylight. On page number 34, second line. Next, he would hide silent and safe as a bird. On page number 35, 30 second line. And what looked like the parts of a fishing rod. On page number 37, 88 to 89 line. And there is one alteration, the door of the ground floor front flat. On page number 35, 51st line. To your vocabulary. I want all of you to underline or highlight these words in your test books and write the meanings. Illumination Indignation Instinctively Tenants Threshold Barometer Dinner gong Parasol Dumbfounded and Stupefaction Post the video. Copy these questions to your writing books and answer. 1. In the story, where was Tom living and with whom? 2. What kind of loan did Tom see when he opened the door? 3. Who did Tom meet in the hall? 4. Name four things Tom saw in the hall. And 5. What did Tom determine before going to sleep? And there are a few context questions as well. Write who said these to whom. 1. It's not worth you are while going out at the back. 2. I have lit the fire in the parlor. 3. I shall come back. Alright. Have you been to your relations places? Of course, right? Now, complete this writing task as well in your writing books. Write an essay about a journey you had to a relations place. Introduce your relations. Describe the place and the location. Write about your journey. Thank you for watching my dear kids. Bye.